Hey, this is Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. In this video, we're going to tie a midge pattern using buzzer quills, which are pretty cool, like iridescent synthetic quills. I'm going to tie this in a size 18 on a fire hole 317. You could tie it larger um, if you wanted to use it as like a Karana mid pattern on a lake. And I've got a tungsten bead on mine. You could leave that off and tie it without a tungsten bead, um, but I'm using uh, the tungsten bead to help me get down um, when I'm fishing this as part of a two fly rig. Okay, tighten the vise up just a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to start my thread. Wrap to the back of the hook. I'm going to put in a little shuck off the back out of Antron. I'm just going to use tan Antron yarn. Trim off, leave that about that long. Now these quills, I stripped it off the backing. You'll see it's got a dark edge on it. That's what I want to have at the back. So I'm going to have that, that dark edge on the bottom. You don't really see that dark edge until you get a little ways up the quill. So I'm going to trim off part of this first and cut it at a kind of a steep angle. Tie that in and bring my thread forward. And leave a little gap behind my bead. Now I'll just wrap that quill. And we'll tie it off. I'm going to trim off the excess and save this, this part of the quill for a larger fly. It'll be hard to tie a small fly with that, but save it for a larger lake pattern or a larger nymph pattern. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some kind of gills on this, a bright bright strip of flash along each side. I'm going to use Krennic Hollow Sheen in orange. I'm going to tie that in along the side of the hook here. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing on the far side. Now I'll just build up a little bit of thread there. Fill out that thorax area a little bit. And then I'm going to go right behind the bead, pull that flash forward, put one wrap, pull it forward on the other side, put one wrap, sneak in an extra wrap there. And now I'm going to trim out the flash. Same thing on the far side. You can go ahead and whip finish at this point. And trim our thread. Now to finish the fly, I'm going to take some thin UV resin. I'm going to 
put it on my bodkin. I'll cover that whole area up behind the bead. And give that a quick cure here. Now I'm going to take another little bit, put it on my bodkin, and this will do over that buzzer quill. Bring a little bit more up onto that thorax. Hit that again. I'm going to put just a tiny bit more up on the top of the, the hook here. And then we'll hit it one last time with the light. And that's pretty much it. A lot of different colors you can mess around with there, but you get that nice uh, segmentation, a little pearlescence, iridescence from that buzzer quill, plus the little wing buds there. Uh, give it a little extra flash. Uh, it's been a good dropper for me um, in the past couple of weeks here, and it's kind of a fun template to play around with, either you know smaller um, like this on a size 18 or you know, much bigger size 12s, even 10s. Um, so mess around with it a little bit, go give them a fish and stay tuned for more videos coming soon.